Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Niamtu, lovethatface.com. And if you follow our channel, you know that I do cosmetic facial surgery from here to here, and I don't do boobs, bellies, and butts. We have over 21 million views on YouTube, and I spend a good part of my day talking to people from all around the world. And I just, uh, I love cosmetic uh, facial surgery, and I love the interaction with the international community. So thanks you uh, for watching. Now, one of the most common things that I do uh, and this is small, like I do uh, over 100 facelifts a year, I do several hundred, probably 400 eyelids uh, a year, I do a lot of big surgical procedures, but one of the most common and fun things I do is head and neck mole removal, and I've done it for over 30 years. Now, there are many ways to uh, remove moles, and one of the most frustrating thing is that when people come in here and they say, hey, I have this mole, and I've had it all my life because my plastic surgeon or dermatologist said, don't get it off because the scar is going to be worse than the mole. And I can't tell you how many thousand times I've proved that wrong. I don't know how many of these I've done, but I bet I've done 10,000 uh, moles or similar lesions uh, over the decades. Now, you know, I want to call this scarless mole removal. And in effect, there's no such thing as, uh, as scarless, but I can tell you this. Uh, I've done every type and seen every type of mole removal technique. And if there is a such thing as scarless mole removal, this is as close as you can get. I've never had anybody come back and say, wow, I wish I had my mole back. All right. So how do we do this? Well, we're using a 4.0 megahertz radio wave uh, technology. And we're melting this mole down. And the 4.0 megahertz radio wave <clears throat> causes very little thermal damage. Anybody could burn a mole off, okay? And it won't come back. And you end up with a big, deep, white hole in your face or your neck. But obviously, that's not what you want. <clears throat> so if you use this type of technology with decades of experience in a very controlled, gentle manner, you can make these things go away, and they just look great. So really, it only takes about five minutes to remove the average mole. And we melt it down, as you'll see in these pictures and videos. You have uh, uh, a little brown spot there. And it might be just a little sunken. And then over the next five days, it turns pink and gets smooth and flat. And all you need to do to care for this is keep a little Vaseline or Neosporin on it. And after about five or six days, uh, people can put makeup on it if they wish. And for people that are local, I tell them that if they can still see the mole at eight weeks, come back. Most people don't. I'd say 2% of these may need uh, a little touch up, which is very inexpensive and very quick to do. But um, that's always better because you can always take a little bit more off, but if you take too much off, which I never have, then that would be a problem. And I'm going to show you some videos in a second of mole removal, and then I'll show you some actual cases. So, um, you know, it's also very important because, as you know, some moles could be uh, melanoma, squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma. So, you know, we would biopsy any suspicious looking lesion. and. So many people come here and they do what I do. They see their dermatologist for a yearly mole check. So their derm has already looked at this and said, no, you don't need that biopsy. But <clears throat> if there's ever a question, that's what we do. So stick around. I'm going to show you how we do this. And I'm going to show you some before and after pictures. Thank you. I'm Dr. Joe and I am to lovethatface.com. So today we're going to do a little radio wave uh, mole removal. And this is something that we do uh, quite a lot of, done it for decades, people all over the country, and done some international people have come just for a mole. Um, this is as close to I've ever seen for scarless mole removal. This particular mole has been here uh, for the whole life of the patient, and her dermatologist has looked at it and is not uh, concerned about it. Uh, otherwise, we frequently do biopsies uh, on any suspicious lesions. And interestingly enough, this is one of the very common cases where her dermatologist said, don't get these removed because the scar will be worse than the mole. And I can promise this patient that it won't be. And so what we're going to do is use the hand piece here and we're going to start reducing this. We obviously have local anesthesia in here. This is one of these situations when you have to know when to stop. That's the whole key to this. You have to know the correct settings, but the radio wave is very different. It's not the same as electrosurgery or hyphricators or other instruments 
are devices that are used for this. And it's very controlled in its thermal damage. In other words, it does not put that heat and ablation deep, deep into the tissues. So is a very gentle way to do this. And as you can see, it just takes a couple minutes. Okay. Block that a second. And when we, if we get a little bleeding, we'll use the coagulation mode. And otherwise, I'm going to treat this to the base of the lesion. Wipe it again. And in terms of post-operative care, basically this is going to be raw for about five to seven days, and then it'll be, then it'll be pink. And the patient for the aftercare is just simply going to use Neosporin or Vaseline. And for patients that are in town, I have them come back at eight weeks if they can still see their mole. Most people can't. And uh, in my three decades of experience doing this, radio wave surgery is the best way uh, to do this with a very aesthetic outcome. I'm so this is obviously fast motion, and this is a mole we're going to biopsy. So we take a representative sample with the scalpel, and this is a Sonoquence 4.0 megahertz radio wave system, and we're using to ablate this, and we ablate a layer, wipe it off, ablate a layer, wipe it off. It's very controlled. It takes a lot of experience to know when to stop, but if you do it correctly, you get excellent results, and this is how we take off moles. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Niam to lovethatface.com and I'm so excited to introduce and release uh, version three, our platinum lecture and video series. I've had two versions in the past and we have sold these in over 70 countries and educated hundreds of doctors with these videos. I've really put everything I have into this. I did all the surgery, I did all the narration, all the filming, all the editing, and I've worked for over a year on this. We have many, many hours of videos on 11 topics. You can download these on any device and own them. Uh, and it's all in stunning 4K video. I'm gonna show you uh, uh, some of the footage of the various videos. And you can purchase this at lovethatface.com under physician information or at cosmeticsurgeryeducation.com. Stay tuned and watch. The Neuromodulator series includes common injections of the head, face, and neck. The Injectable Filler series includes common injections of the head, face, and neck. The Blepharoplasty series includes almost eight hours of multimodality uh, scalpel, CO2, laser, radio wave surgery, electrosurgery, and canthopexy. There are almost nine hours of comprehensive facelift surgery, as well as a separate series on minimally invasive facelift. The brow and forehead section includes many open techniques as well as endoscopic techniques. The skin resurfacing series includes chemical peel as well as laser skin resurfacing of the face, neck, scars, and acne. The 
facial implant series includes silicone cheek and chin implants in great detail. The fat management series includes jowl liposuction, submental liposuction, and buccal fat reduction. The otoplasty series includes multiple cases of cosmetic otoplasty for protruding ears, and the subnasal lip lift series details that procedure. Because there are lectures and videos included, this is actually a mini course, and it's a great adjunct in helping learn cosmetic facial surgery or review for experienced practitioners. Each series can be previewed or purchased individually, or the entire Platinum Comprehensive collection can be purchased. To preview or to purchase videos, visit CosmeticSurgeryEducation.com or LoveThatFace.com and click under Physician Education. Thank you so much for your time. I'm Dr. Joe Niamh, too.